The following content contains adult subject matter, including sensitive material, and is intended for adult consumption only. It may not be suitable for all audiences, therefore, discretion is advised. Lele Pond is not a trained expert, but is using her personal experiences to create a space for sensitive discussions. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Best Kept Secrets. I'm your host, Lele Pons, and I'm in a really great mood today. It's a beautiful Wednesday here in Los Angeles, and I hope that wherever you are in the world and whatever time it is in the day that you are feeling as good as I am right now. We've got two new anonymous callers lined up today and ready to share their secrets with us. I have a feeling that today will be very spicy. If you have a secret that you would like to share with us, you can go and head over to shots.com forward slash secrets. I can't wait any longer, so let's get right into our first caller. Hi, Seema. How's everything? Everything's going good. Thanks for having me. We're dying. We're dying to know. What do you want to talk to us about today? Right. So my secret... Um is that like I cheat on my fiance every time she goes to like a business work trip or whenever she goes like hangs out with her friends like um for like a travel purpose. How often does she leave? Well, she's a uh, for like a big four firm. Yeah, like and then she yeah she travels a lot to uh, her home uh, headquarters is in New York, but she re- works remotely sometimes. So she goes about like a couple times a month in New York, um usually for like um two two days and then. She like, visits her friends, too. There must be something, you know, going on in your relationship that's not working since you have to, like, you know, let it out with other people. Oh, yeah. I think it's just, like, kind of my fault, my personality, because, like, I did it once, and, and then I got you... so addicted to it, like, I could not stop. I honestly can relate to that, because I'm a cheater. That's why I don't have a boyfriend, though. Like, unlike you, like, I actually tell the guys, hey, like, I'm going to cheat on you. And just FYI, I'm not ready for a relationship, I feel like. Once I did it once, I've done it many multiple times. But um, she doesn't know anything? No, she doesn't know anything, which is, like, so crazy because I feel like I've gotten caught, like, a couple times. Or, like, you know, just, like, or, like, I could have got caught or, like, it's been pointed out. But I've just been, like, I feel like it makes it even more thrilling that I'm getting away with it. And, I know. Like, I know so... what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. I, I know. It's just, mean. like, yeah, I don't know how far I'm going to push it, but I don't know. It's just, like, I feel alive. Yeah, it's the it's the the risk, the the adrenaline you get from this, the the fact that you can't right. do it, you know, makes you want to do it even more. Right, and the fact that like she is like so nice too, it's just like I don't know what's in me. It just makes you, I don't know if I'm a bad. <laughs> We're huh? fucked. We're fucked. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, I understand. I, I, yeah, it's just like something that you know, like sometimes like it does make you feel alive, honestly. So I understand that feeling, and it's very like exciting in like a very unhealthy way yeah it's almost like really dark but then like you just can't stop like i never done drugs before um like you know smoking cigarettes you get addicted to them and i could see how someone could get addicted to like that stuff but like i used to do gambling too like play poker and um sometimes you know you you get an urge cut that more or like risk it all on a bet um but that's what i would relate the feeling to it's just like you know it's wrong but you just like want to get that um it's scratched like you it's like that temptation 100 percent. i just feel like you know because like yes it is very like thrilling but i feel like maybe like you should why don't you want to be like single maybe you know like and just keep doing that or is it because like you actually do like the feeling of cheating and having someone and like kind of like there and and knowing that you can't do it because if you're single you you can but since you have someone a fiance you can't and you like that like, honestly, the girls that I'm with are so trashy, like, so trashy. I would never date them. But, like, I like knowing that I have, like, a stable base and then I can go and explore. Like, I hate to say, like, a fallback plan, yeah. um, but it's nice to have that safety net. And I feel way more secure. And you said your fiance has, ha- like, kind of has maybe an idea of it or, like, has caught you and she's okay with that? Well, no, she's never really caught me. Like, one time I went to Las Vegas and I came back and, like... I had a condom wrapper in my freaking luggage bag and she found it and she's like, what the hell is this? And I was like, <laughs> well, oh, I was like, oh, this is from the last time we had sex. I just kept it as a souvenir because I wanted to show you, show you like, I want to make a love, like a, those love boxes for our anniversary. Oh my, and my God, God. <laughs> if she bought that. 
and kind of show you like the memories we had with more pictures and stuff. And I got mad at her because she found it, and I kind of like flipped the switch, and I was uh, like, "Wow, you ruined the surprise." <laughs> that's when you know you're guilty when you when you freak out like that when someone like kind of interrogates you and you freak out. I feel like that's like <laughs> that's when you know you're guilty, you know? Right? Like you can you, you can use that psychology trick on anyone in life. Like the more they get mad, the reverse psychology. Yeah, the more someone gets mad, like the more you know they're guilty. It, you gotta know, just play it cool like care less um is like the best way seriously i mean i don't want to give this advice but if you're gonna cheat and you don't want to get caught when someone interrogates you stay calm yeah exactly and, and uh, i thought this like motto it's like always say less than necessary because yes. like when you overly talk you're just like uh, more apt to say something wrong and that can lead to another direction i agree with that because it's it's I've been there before and how long have you been doing this uh, I've been engaged for a year, so like ever since I got engaged with it. Do you think you're gonna be doing this for a while, even after you're married? Honestly, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster, and I don't think I could stop until I get caught. Like it's just so thrilling. I feel like this goes back to maybe when you were like, if you go to therapy, they'll say that there's a reason why you're doing this. You know, I just want you to know that it's not that you're just fucked up. Maybe there's a reason. You know, behind this. Maybe it's like you you're addicted to adrenaline, or or something happened to you in the past, but. I do know a lot of people that do that, and that happens to many people. They like to cheat. And does anybody else know about this addiction that you have? No, no. Like, you guys are the first to know about this. Listen, there's probably a lot of listeners right now that are going through the same thing. I just want you to know, you and them, that this place is not to judge. This is just to let go. It's good to let go and talk to someone, you know, about this. Because, you know, to bottle up things, it just, like, backfires at the end. That's something I know. So I, th- I, it's good that you opened up. Yeah, I, th- I think uh, having a support group in life is super important. But I think this like uh, thing that I'm doing is like so bad. You yeah. know, I, I don't know what else compares to this. I mean, obviously, there's more bad things in the world, but like I don't want to like look down upon or like be uh, disowned by like my family or anything either. I don't think you're gonna be disowned by the, your family. Maybe from the girl. But not from the family, you know? Like, I don't think so. You like my reputation? I mean, I don't know if your family's religious or anything. My family's pretty religious. Uh, Her family's super religious, too. Do you think that she's lacking, like, that naughty, let's say, naughty side of her? Right, exactly, exactly. And and that's very important. Let me tell you something. That is a very important, like, part of a relationship. You have to be, like, physically, like, they have to turn you on constantly. I know. I know. I know relationships are already hard. And to, like, include the whole, like, pleasing each other is another whole layer of it on top of it. And I bet it's going to get harder when you have kids and then, you know, everyone's busy and it's more stressful and, like, get married. But, uh, yeah. You're, you're missing that, so you're looking for it. And how, 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 do you, how do you actually find these women? I use a lot. And then you, like, message them and they see if you're legit. And then you are legit. And then you notice that she's legit. And it's like, okay, like, I got money. I want this done. And oh, you, pr- you pay them, too. Oh, you have to, yeah. Okay. This is one other reason I'm like don't want to be single because like I don't want to like take a girl out on three dates and then get her to fall in love with me and then I sleep with her. You know, it's just, it just seems like a lot of work. So like it's just easier to go, you know, get someone who's willing. I'm willing to pay for it. She's willing to give me something in return for the service, and it's like an equal means of exchange. We're both pleased at the end of the day. Is that why you don't like have like a, let's say a side chick, like one that you always do it with? Do you like to like change it up? Because many times side chicks do fall in love. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't want a side chick. I think having a girlfriend's already hard enough. Like, I don't even, or like a fiance. Like, I don't even want to freak another um, uh, girl to entertain because it's so much work to, like, entertain this one. And then to get another one, it's just like, what if she, and then there's so many, like, facts. What if she finds out? What if she comes to my house one day? Like, like what if she falls in love with me? Like, oh my God. Like, I'd rather just know. Like, Why don't you try uh, these things with your fiance? Like, like what you do with the girls? Are these girls, like, do things that you, that you've never done before like they're like what kind of things do you ask these girls to do that your fiance can't do yeah like i've told her many times like we need to ramp it up like in the bedroom and she just like sticks to such like mundane type of like sex that like it's so boring for me Ew, i know i hate that shit. yeah like i you know you know like i need to mix it up i'm sorry like i and then i started getting into this and i'm like whoa like i love it yeah, I love it. Like, I, I like getting, like, you know, tied up and, like, crazy stuff. Like, I want the girl to, like, walk on heels on my back, to, like, burn me with the candle wax, to, like, slap me. You like freaky stuff. Yeah, just no, like, any, um, like, feces or anything like that. But I, I'm down for anything. But I, I like to, like, you know, make it dark, or, like, wear costumes sometimes or, like, you know, type of, like, uh, 
barbarian attire and like kind of make it fun you know Oof, you have it very complicated because i feel like the, what, what your fiance is described like she's the opposite yeah like she's pretty conservative do you like like your finger up your ass like shit like that a finger up your ass and stuff yeah yes yeah exactly like that's that that's like my one thing that i tell her to do and she doesn't oh man and what would happen if she found out like try to figure out try to go to, like group therapy you know i think we would just do group therapy but the fact that she won't like leave me for it and like is willing to fight for me makes me want to do it more mm-hmm. because it shows that she doesn't have a backbone yeah you you listen honestly by talking to you you want a strong fucking woman a sexy strong like like entertaining woman a spontaneous woman. right exactly why do you love like your fiance like what what makes her special for you to like actually keep being with her she comes from like a good family uh i know she'll be a good mother she cooks really freaking great food all the time and she's like fun to do you feel comfortable with her yeah like she's my best friend like we hang out all the time and like you know and uh do fun stuff sports we play tennis together and all all this we have a bunch of same interests but like the whole um compatibility in the bedroom is not on yeah and i feel like you do want kids eventually right in maybe like 10 years eight years and she'll be a good mom i feel like you know like many of these girls that you say that you find they're not gonna be like mom material and this one is exactly I hope you figure everything out because, you know, like, maybe she won't say anything, but she, if she does have friends, and this is something true, her friends will convince her eventually to leave you, you know, if she does find out. Really? You think so? That always happens. Maybe she's okay because she loves you and everything, but be careful with the friends. Yeah. That's that's who you should be looking for. I try to, like, get her to stop hanging out know, with her friends, though, and, like, kind of talk shit with, about her friends so she stays away from them, too. Maybe one day your fiance is going to talk here and, and call me. <laughs> oh, my God. I hope she's not doing what I'm doing, but if she is, then it's a double standard. Oh, so, like, I shouldn't do that. It's like, next call. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was great talking to you. Thanks, guys, for letting me open up. I feel a little better talking to you guys and being able to get stuff off my chest. Right, bye. So, bye-bye. So this is the thing. I know this call can go both ways because cheating is wrong. But at the same time, I understand. You know, I do understand because that's who I am and I do that and it's wrong. But, you know, this this podcast is to for people to open up and you have to be compassionate. You have to try to understand and not judge because it takes some guts to like share your secrets. This guy has problems and probably from the past or like he has an addiction to cheat, you know, and uh, it happens to a lot of us. And I I am saying it is wrong. That's important. It is wrong. But people do it. And you have to find out, though, why you do it. Like, I know why I do it. It goes back from a long time ago. I'm not going to say why I do it. But it is important for him to figure out the roots of why. Because eventually, you know, like, I I do want a stable relationship. I don't want to cheat anymore. And I feel like this guy should want that. But eventually, you're going to have to fix what you're doing. But I'm very happy that he opened up. And as you can see, any secrets that you have, I'm not someone to judge. I'm trying to understand why they do it i'm trying to support them and that's the point of the show it's time to take a break but i'll be back with another exciting call so don't go anywhere all right guys before i go to our next caller i just want to say Thank you so much, and I am blown away with all the love that you guys have given me with my new single, Sete Nota, with the one and only super talented Guayna. For those who haven't heard it yet, you can head over to my Spotify artist page after this show and check it out. It's my favorite song yet, and I know that you guys are going to love it. But right now, I am super excited and happy to announce that we're about to jump in to our next secret. Let's go. Hello? Hi. First of all, how are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. <laughs> so, Big G, what is your secret? My secret is uh, when this coronavirus thing started, uh, I started doing, uh, I'm a mobile barber, right? What's a, wait, sorry, what's a mobile barber? Uh, I give haircuts and, uh, privately at people's houses. Oh, okay. And uh, I got invited to this really nice place. And uh, what happened is uh, I was going to cut hair and everything was going good and everything. And... Then the wife came out and she was pretty hot. And this was like a rich guy. You know, he had Louis Vuitton all over. It was a really fancy place. And he had like a Barbie doll wife. And all of a sudden she was getting like kind of too sexual for me and everything, a little flirty. And then one thing led to another. 
like right in front of the husband and he's just like letting it go and not saying anything and I'm kind of getting weirded about it and then she kept being flirty and then start you know massaging me and one thing led to another and I found out it was kind of like I think he brought me there to have sex with her because we ended up having sex on the table. What? In front of them. Wait, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> that's that is so funny because like imagine like you with this guy and you're like, oh my god, look, that wife is so hot, and exactly what you want to happen happens. Like, yeah. And the crazy thing is, I've been doing it ever since. Uh, it's just like referrals, you know. Oh wow! Like, so like this is the type of couple that likes fucking weird shit. Like you know that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? I thought that was just like in movies and shit. Did you like it? Yeah, it, it was good. I was nervous at first, but uh, now it's just routine, you know, and they want me to go as an actual barber. Like, I don't know what's going on. And they kind of want to like, uh, you know, trap me, I guess. I don't know. Trap it's- you. Oh, my God. This is like, it can either go both ways. They're like criminals or like, you know, like at the end, of, they're going to kill you and, and slice you up. Yeah. Or um, it can go to like, yeah, you're just literally lucky as fuck. And <laughs> got a free pass with the hot wife. And yeah, pretty it's, much. it's crazy. Be- it's crazy because like the fact that he didn't care and you did it in front of him. Like, what the fuck is up with that? They just like the the crazy. I mean, you. It, it sounds like a porn movie. That's what happens in porn. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I was just going for the regular haircut or whatever, and then she had cash, actual cash. So when I was kind of like, well, like you know, I didn't feel comfortable because I didn't want to have no problems with her husband. She kind of just like flashed it, like, come on, like, it's going to be okay. And I was like, whoa, all right, okay, you know. How much did they pay you? About 2500 Oh, shit. Yeah, pretty much, but I didn't mean it like that. I mean, you didn't want it to happen like that, but like, damn, like, you know, like how they treated you, like they paid you, you know, for so much for, for that? You got to pay the bills, you know, <laughs> I'm not saying no. <laughs> uh, I know, like, honestly, you got to do what you have to do. And it wasn't even, you didn't even want to do it, but it's just fucking funny. Like, how just, like, you know, because, like, yeah. how many clients do this? I've been doing it for a good, like, uh, six months. And I've been doing a lot of, like, wealthy couples. I even went with some guy that was a uh, ex-hockey uh, player. And uh, he was an amazing yacht. And uh, they called me over there, and it was the same scenario, you know? What are they? Is this, is a, is this like, a, a, a club that they do this, a, a group chat, and they're just like, okay, we want to... They all know each other or just like do they refer you to other people or like do they like tell other people about you? Yeah, that's I get it through reference. I mean I pretty much I just go with the flow and then the wife takes control kind of and I'm just like, Oh, 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 oh okay and then that's it, you know, it goes from there. Wow. Do you finish all the haircuts or like <laughs> Um, yeah, I try, but you know, usually everybody that gets a haircut once I get there, it's amazing because there are these rich guys that really don't even need a haircut. So they're just like... They little, don't even fucking need a haircut. To yeah, honest. just a little it's trim true. on top and we're good, you know? <laughs> How many other people have called you to do the same thing? Like, um, they, they, they've done the same thing to you? Probably like 30 other couples. Whoa, there's 30 people who want like that. that. <laughs> wow, like you're like, an, I feel like you're like an expert now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, I guess. In some way. And, and the wives are super hot. Yeah, but, you know, I'm not a bad-looking guy either, so, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know who... You, I, I've not, I haven't seen you, but if for the... Well, for people to want to fuck you so many times and, like, refer you, <laughs> you have to be... You have to look amazing, too. Yeah. Physically. Cool. Yeah. Have you told anybody about this? No, actually, I haven't. Um, I actually have a, a girlfriend, and I just tell her that I'm getting... That I'm doing my haircut, and sometimes when it goes too long... I'm like, oh, I had two people I had to cut. That's it. I make it sound really innocent, you know? Does the, your girlfriend, like, ask, like, how are you making so much money? Like, No, nah, I don't I don't tell her all that. How does it feel telling someone now, you know, telling us? It feels good because I'm able to escape and kind of let it out because I was a little kind of like, you know. Yeah, it's, like, it's good to let it out, I swear. Even when it's, like, with people like me, like, just, like, randoms. Like, no one's really going to know, like, who you are or anything like that. It's just, you're just opening up. Sometimes it's good to, like, just talk and hear other people's, like, perspective i mean i think you know what like you do what you have to do for money to be honest i mean i am i i, I believe that i mean you have to also survive especially yeah. in quarantine right now now don't kill and shit you know that's, that's <laughs> for sure like don't do other things but this is you know it was her who wanted to do it yeah it's like a fantasy thing you know you won the lottery with like the wife a whole nother ball game a whole nother ball game <laughs> a whole nother ball game what do you think your girlfriend would say if she found out obviously break up i think yeah, I but depending on how she is, 
Yeah, she like she wouldn't be cool with it. Yeah, I uh, now putting myself in her position. My boyfriend comes over and is like, "Hey, I've been fucking thirty women this past couple months." <laughs> I'd be like, "Okay, um, <laughs> my turn. I'm, I'm leaving." <laughs> oh, I thought you said my turn. Like you're next. <laughs> No, not me. No, he, he, oh, you no. thought that I was going to say my turn, like I want to fuck you? I mean, no, 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 no I meant, but... I meant if it no was offense. your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you send them a picture before, like, before you go over there? No, not at all. Okay, so they don't know how you look. Yeah, just okay. by, uh, um, by what they tell them from the other couples. Again. Would you be cool with, if your girlfriend was doing that actually behind your back as well? Nah, I wouldn't. Honestly, like, there you have it, guys. That's that's actually a pretty dope secret. I yeah, <laughs> uh, cause I, I I I like picture it. I picture like a Wolf on Wall Street guy and like the hot wife and just like a barber, I guess, like coming in. <laughs> but that's <laughs> I can picture it right now. And do you have? I mean, do you have anything to say to the listeners? Um, like, anything you want to say? Like advice from what you've learned from this? <laughs> Um, there's a dollar in everything. You never know. You just got to go with the flow and see where it leads you. There it is. There it is. Thank you so much. Like, it started so innocent. And it ended yeah. Up crazy. Yeah. Which is the best, you know? It's the best way. I mean, I, I like that. It just, it's like it leads you somewhere else. You never know. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Everything leads to something. Everything leads somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just like laughing at this whole situation. I'm sorry. But thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you for talking to us. This was amazing. And I wish you good luck with your business. I appreciate it. Holy shit. So like, he must have been a player to change from a barber to that profession so easily. That's a, that, that wife must have been so fucking good. I mean, he's a legend. That's for sure. Like this, I, this, I need to meet this guy in person. And he says, he's like, I mean, he must be so good looking if like he's referred to so many people, like 30 people. And my God, I feel so bad for his girlfriend. But, you know, I mean, eventually when he goes to like a, a like, I don't know, a restaurant with his girlfriend for the anniversary, one fucking rich couple's going to be like, that was an amazing fuck or something like that. Like, <laughs> and she'll be like, what do you mean? So I don't know. It's just uh, and plus he's probably m- must be loaded. He must get so much money. You know, at least he, he has pleasure from it. And if this is something the couple wants to do to make their relationship stronger, go ahead. He's helping at least, you know. So good for all of them. That's our show for today, guys. This was definitely a wild episode. Thank you so much to Seymour and Big G for calling in. I have no doubt that all of you have a lot to say about both calls. Look, we all know that cheating is wrong and that's a fact, but I'm going to be honest here. I've cheated before and I've been cheated on. But the different thing with me is that I tell the guy that I'm going to cheat on him before I cheat on him. So I give him an option whether to break up with me or not. So I've always been honest. Now, on the other hand, Seymour, he was saying that he's drawn to the thrill of cheating on his girlfriend. But a big part of it is that he doesn't have good sex with his fiance. What do you guys think? Sexual compatibility is so, so important in a relationship, but is it everything? Which brings us to this week's question, which is, can a relationship work when everything is perfect except the sex? I put together a poll for you on my Instagram story, so head over there now and let me know. And before we end this, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode, Best Kept Secrets with me, Lele Pons. If you want to be a guest on my show, head over to shots.com forward slash secrets to submit. If you or someone you know are struggling emotionally, text START to 741-741 for a confidential chat anytime. Thanks for listening to Best Kept Secrets with me, Lele Pons, only on Spotify in partnerships with Shot Studios. The Shot Studios original team includes creators John Shahidi and Sam Shahidi, my lovely producer Belinda Mercer, and audio editor Stephen Colon. From Spotify Studios executive producers Javier Pinot, Liz Gately, Gina Delvac, and Danny Trebodge. And a special thanks to Dan Behar, Jessica Molina, Francisco Quijada, and Julio Pabon. I'm Lele. Follow me on Instagram at Lele Pons and check out my exclusive merch at lilshop.com. That is lilshop, L I L, shop.com. Talk to you next week. <laughs>